welcome. Welcome to Artistic License, my stream on Thursdays where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Oh my god, I'm back, you guys. I miss y'all so much. I miss streaming so much. Do you hear the kittens playing with their little jingle toy? I miss the kittens too while I was gone. Um, so we'll talk about all that. We'll talk about where I was, what I was doing while we play some Final Fantasy X. Y'all know how that goes. Um, we're going to collect up the last couple of um, spheres that we had for Orin, except of course we can't go get the Besaid one. I also found an Albed primer that I missed, so we're going to grab that today. Um, but before we do all of that stuff, we're going to do a personality quiz. Okay, so the personality quiz this time is what kind of gay coded character are you in an old movie? So I will paste that into the chat. There you go. You guys can do it. If you do the quiz, let me know what you got for your results. Okay, let's go. All right. Are you gay IRL? The answers are yeah, no, not exactly, but I'm LGBT or none of your business. I would say not exactly, not exactly. Okay, diversity win. The blank is gay. <laughs> A uh, college student planning the perfect crime. A uh, dedicated right-hand man trying to protect his best friend's reputation. <laughs> Housekeeper who wants to murder you. Ooh, fun. Uh, villains, effeminate, foreign-accented henchmen. Ooh, I love that one. I'm going to pre-click that before I read the rest. Piano player at the movie studio. Okay. Nightclub singer... Like nightclub singer stringing the foreign legion soldier along for her own amusement. <laughs> uh, we're going to go with the villain's effeminate foreign accented henchman. Pick a song from the summer 2021 playlist. Uh, I cover the waterfront by Billie Holiday. At least they're not letting me making me read lyrics. It's just songs. Okay. If I had a hammer by Pete Seeger, famous blue raincoat by Leonard Cohen, far side banks of Jordan by Johnny Cash and June Carter, Carrie by Joni Mitchell, Celia by Phil Ox. Um, I don't know slash like any of these. I mean, I'll be honest, none of these songs really particularly speak to me. So yeah, we're going with that. It's late at night and you're not at home. Where are you? Oh gosh, long answers. Okay. <clears throat> On a bus, I'm riding until the end of the line and everyone else is slowly trickling out. Soon it's just me and the driver and one other passenger. It's dark outside, and the inside of the bus is painfully bright. My stop will come soon. At a bar, the music is loud. I can hear the thump of the bass line in my chest like a second heartbeat. People are laughing and talking, and it's so noisy, it circles back to being silent. Soon I'll get up and leave, but for now, it feels good to lose myself in the crowd a little. With my best friend, aww, we spent the evening together and we were having too much fun for me to leave. We stayed up late enough that everything was funny and we couldn't stop laughing. Oh, I love those nights. Uh, now they've fallen asleep and I'm still awake looking at the moon through their bedroom window. Soon I'll be asleep too. In the park, the moonlight casts ominous shadows on the asphalt paths. I'm sitting on a bench under a street lamp, watching moths congregate near the light bulb. Soon, perhaps, the sun will slowly come up and the park will cease to be mysterious, and so I will leave. By the river, I can see the lights of the city reflected in the water. The other side of the river seems so close and yet so far, and I wonder what would happen if I packed up all my things, got a new name, and crossed the river. Soon I'll be coming out of it and go home, but for now I can keep dreaming a little longer. Aw. At the mall, most of the stores have closed and I'm starting to think maybe I don't belong here, but I don't leave. Instead, I find a seat near the fountain and watch the janitor watching, washing the floor. I wonder whether he wants to leave. Soon, someone will come to tell me to leave, but until then, I'll stay. I refuse to read any of that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I was a trooper and I read it. We're doing the best friend one where, they're, where I'm looking at the moon. Okay. Uh, choose a bird. Ooh. Uh, I have to go with the extra isberg, the peacock. It's a good burb. These are all pretty good burbs, though. Can't really go wrong with any of these choices, but this is this is the burb for me. Pick a shade of purple. Ooh. Mm. I'm liking this euphoric lilac. I think we're going with that. Pick a quote from a Langston Hughes poem. Okay. No. <laughs> hey, this is better than song lyrics. Uh, the music wraps them both around in a mellow magic of dancing sound. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? Oh, I like that. 
Uh, she lifted up her lips in the dark, that same old spark. Jazz boys, jazz boys, play, play, play. Tomorrow is darkness, joy today. On your head, you had sharp thorns. You did not look at me, but on your back, you carried my own misery. When Susanna Jones wears red, her face is like an ancient cameo, turned brown by the ages. We're going in with the raisin in the sun. I love that line. What's the worst kind of you quiz question? Free text. Oh my God, I never answer those. Never, ever. I don't even have to read the rest. I know that's my answer. Um, pick a text I've sent. Choose a book, movie, blah, blah. But OPS, bad taste, and there's no skip option. <laughs> uh, song lyrics. Everyone hates the song lyrics. Uh, something long and rambling that OP probably thought was profound. I cannot stress enough the extent to which I do not have an opinion on this. Free text. Actually, I do have an opinion on this. I don't ever answer the free text ones. Um, astrology. Yes. Sometimes not for me. No, I think it's stupid. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Pick an old movie with subtext. Ooh. Uh, Calamity Jane, Rope, Johnny Guitar, Rebel Without a Cause, Queen Christina, The Maltese Falcon. I haven't seen these. Uh, is there really somebody that hasn't seen any of these? I mean, I haven't seen all of these, um, but I've seen some of them. We're going with um, Queen Christina, though. Pick a folk music subgenre. Protest music, murder ballads, sea shanties. Oh, those are so popular right now. Traditional Celtic ballads, Greenwich Village folk revival. I don't like folk music. Oh, no. Protest music. There's not a lot of current protest music, but there's a lot of good old protest music. All right. Choose a picture of Catherine Hepburn and Sylvia Scarlet. Ooh, let's see. I'm definitely digging this, the hat, the expression. This one's pretty good, too, but I think we're going with this one. You're going on vacation and your friend asks you to bring them back something. What do you bring? Nothing, I forgot. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, something pretty and unassuming like a seashell or a pressed flower. Something tacky like a snow globe or a shot glass. Hey, a shot glass is a good gift. <laughs> uh, something they can use to decorate their home like a postcard or a fridge magnet. Something thoughtful like handmade jewelry or a print from a local artist. Something anyone will like, like chocolates or handmade soap. Um, no, I usually go for this. Actually, this is a second choice. Um, it kind of depends on the person. But shot glasses are not tacky, y'all. They're fun. All right, pick a jelly cat plushie. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, we're going with the bewitching cat. Although I really like the onyx dragon, too. But we're going with bewitching cat. No. I will not do the free text. I never do it. Oh, European woman in a pre-code. Bonus points if she's Mar Marlene Dietrich or Greta Garbo. More bonus points if she wears a tux or otherwise dresses like a man. Okay, fabulous. European, European woman in pre-code. Let's see, what are the other choices? Um, was clearly gay in the source material. <gasps> oh, and then got gypped by the Hayes Code. All right. Side character in a noir or played by a gay actor. Oh, okay. No, I do think that the one I got probably is the closest for me out of uh, those choices there. All right. So before we start the game, I have one thing that I want to show you guys. I got a new hat. Oh my gosh, y'all. Remember that the ears broke? <laughs> That's my husband, if you could hear it. I don't know if you could hear that. So I got a new hat. Oh my God, it's just like the rabbit hat, but it's a unicorn. This was a birthday gift that I got while I was on the cruise and it lights up just like the rabbit hat did. So we're gonna turn on the lights. There we go. Ah! They make unicorn ones now. So I got that. Um, apparently they got it on Amazon. If you guys are interested, that's where you can get one too. On Amazon, you can get the rabbit ones that I that I have, you know, that has the broken ear on mine. Or you can get a unicorn one. They make that one now too. All right. Let's close this little quiz. And let's get the game started. All right. Here we go. Let's turn up the volume. Can y'all hear that? I'm just looking at the levels. I think that looks pretty good. It looks like... You can hear the game, but you can still hear me over it. All right, somebody tell me if that's not, if that doesn't sound good. Ooh, no, you can't see the game. Let me try to fix that. Oh, there we go. It fixed itself. 
resume. Okay, so first what we're going to do today is our ever popular play in some blitz ball. Because just like we've talked about before, there's lots and lots of blitz ball. Oh my gosh, madam, thank you so much for the raid. Y'all have come in right at the start of the game. Um, we just opened it up. We're going to play some blitz ball. That's what we're doing for um, for the beginning today. And then we're going to go around with some more of the end in game stuff. We're going to play a game of blitz ball first. Hey, madam. I need to um, come hang out in your stream again for a little bit. It's uh, It's been a while, but I've been away for the past like week plus. So that's where I've been recently. Um, for somebody, well, here, I'll do it because I'm not really doing anything intense. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Um, who is this? One one tough cookie. Oh, one tough cookie. Oh, I get it. Y'all go give um, Madam MG a follow. She does a lot of like crafty stuff on her Twitch, and she's really, really good at it. it. Makes a lot of really cool stuff. Thank you. Yes, I have been away. I've been away on vacation. Um, I had a goal for myself that once I got my um, vaccine, I would take a for real vacation, not going somewhere out of obligation, you know, that I have to go, but going somewhere that I actually wanted to go. So that's what we did. We took a cruise and it was freaking awesome. All right, let's set some text so that they can Is there anything. Yeah, I guess she can learn that. That's fine. All right, let's try to not suck. <laughs> Although I usually, uh, so far, have been pretty sucky when it comes to Blitzball. I'm trying my best to actually get to where I can get, like, Waka's uh, weapon and everything on stream, but it is unclear right now if that's ever going to happen, if I'm just going to have to play a bunch of Blitzball off stream to make that make that dream a reality. But we're going to try. Okay, we're going to try. We're playing the, the Ronso team, so they're not nearly as hard as some of the others. So, um, hopefully we can do pretty well. All right, so let's break. And then, how f he's kind of far away. Mm, I don't know. I think I'm going to pass to Waka. Because it's kind of hard. It's kind of far away. Gonna raid and lurk. I get to go scope out Halloween stuff. <gasps> Ooh, oh my gosh, you're right. It is time to start shopping for Halloween stuff. Oh, have fun, madam. That sounds so awesome. Yes, yes, yes. It is about that time, if you're serious into Halloween, to start thinking about getting your uh, Halloween costume and decorations and things like that. Well, so far, the beginning is not going so good. <laughs> uh, but that's pretty normal. I'm not super good at the Blitz Ball. Uh, it's not like a, it's a hard game. It's just math. It's just like, you know, the numbers are not on uh, the Sade side. Now, I did recruit players and things like that, but still, you know, it's still a little bit of a struggle. Dang it! I was hoping Titus would grab it at the end there, but not quite. But I have a good goalie, so they shouldn't be able to score on me. But I still got to score on them <laughs> to win. <laughs> but yes, that is where I have been for the past week and a half. I've been on a cruise ship. I went on the Carnival um, Horizon. And I have to say, like, they had all of these procedures. Oh, get it, Yuma, get it. Get it. Oh, he didn't even. Okay. Awesome. Good job. Good job, guys. Um, they had all these procedures to make sure that everybody was vaccinated. So basically the way that they did it was you 95% of the passengers and 100% of the crew had to be vaccinated. So when you were getting on the ship, you had to show your vaccination card. Let's dribble. You had to show your vaccination card. And basically the only people that got on that weren't vaccinated. Oh, how did she get that? RNG is on their side. Um, the only people really that got on that were vaccinated were kids under 12. You know what I mean? So the kitty cat There's, is one of my kitty cats in the background dice. They probably are very excited right now. We have a kitty cat cam. If you would like to see a close up, um, I can turn that on, but they're not on the bed right now. A lot of times they're on the, they're on the bed. That's why I have that camera pointed, but it's see the baby. I'll tell y'all if they decide to actually lay down and relax instead of running around like craziness. So you can get good close up of them. But yeah, the way they had it is only 5% was unvaccinated. It was basically all kids that were unvaccinated. So you had to show 
your um, your vaccination card to get on the boat. And they took it really seriously. Like, they scrutinized the hell out of the thing. Like, I don't know if... I know that there's been some problems with people forging those things. Then, um, but I don't think you could have gotten a forgery past them. So I felt very safe. And the crew was fully vaccinated. Like, the way that they're doing it is crew that isn't vaccinated, um, they'll take them to Miami and get them vaccinated in Miami before they can work on the boat. So... It was really good, really safe. Um, don't ask me what ports we went to. I don't know. <laughs> I did not pay no damn attention because we didn't get off the boat. Um, because a lot of these Caribbean islands and stuff, like, they just aren't able to get the vaccine. You know, they just don't have them. They really have to wait for countries like the U.S. for us to send them vaccines. That's a whole unfortunate thing, but that's how it is. And so I just didn't feel comfortable getting off the boat and potentially exposing them, you know, when they haven't had a chance to get vaccinated, whether they want to or not. So <clears throat> that's a whole thing. Also, if you are, um, how did he catch it when I was right fucking there? Anyway, um, so that's, that's a whole thing, but we didn't get off the boat. And also, like, if you did get choose to get off the boat because they have a large unvaccinated population, you had to wear a mask, right? Of course. And um, it was freaking, like, 100 degrees. And I didn't want to wear no damn mask outside in 100-degree weather. That sounds miserable. <laughs> so I don't know where we went. We didn't get off the dang boat. We really just hung out, chilled, drank, ate food, played some trivia. You know, all the stuff that you do on a cruise ship. It was a lot, a lot of fun. It was really nice to just relax for a while. You know what I mean? Because like I said, I haven't had a real vacation all pandemic. Now, I've, I've taken trips, right? Like I've gone to see my parents and some stuff like that. But those are really like not... Those aren't vacations in the same way. You know what I mean? They're not vacations. Like, it's not... <gasps> Fuck no, they got a goal. I'm sitting here chattering too much. I need to concentrate. I'm going to just lose again. I can feel it. I can feel like I'm going to end up having to do Blitzball off screen at some point during this whole playthrough to get Waka's stuff. All right. Go, Titus, go. Go, Titus, go. And it's halftime. Well, they scored, but I did not. Good. Glad to hear they did the right thing. Yeah, they really did. They really did set it up right. Um, I felt very safe. I felt like they were really taking care of us and making sure that Everybody was very safe. I want that even if it's just a day trip somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Dice. Like, it's just... It's just crazy. You know? Everything's crazy. It's been crazy for so long. Um, and I just really... I really needed a freaking vacation, you know? So it was nice to finally get one. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Dice. I really appreciate it. All right, let's try to get some points this time. All right, I'm going to actually concentrate. Hot dog follow. That's right, Katie. <laughs> Two follows. Two follows this stream. I really did miss you guys, like, so much. Oh, you got evil lesbian. Oh, I didn't see that as a possible answer. I guess it didn't show them all to me. How is he catching that? My shot is 20. His catch is only 11. This game is cheating. And then it's like going to be really hard for me to get the ball back. God damn it. Why is he doing a sphere shot from all the way back here? Guess he was really banking on the randomness of a sphere shot. Silly.
Mm, what's his block? Okay, we're gonna no break a venom shot. This was not a good idea. Well, at least he's poisoned, I guess. Alright, let's do a sphere shot with Titus. There we go. I need to just do that one more time. <laughs> and not let them do it again. That's another good part that has to happen. Oh, of course they would get control. Fabulous. Fabulous. I can't remember if it lets you tie up in league games or if you get to overtime. Cannot remember. So I know some of them it lets you tie, some of it makes you do overtime. Why are you going... Why, why is he going for the shot when he only has five shot? Oh, he's not. He's passing. Sometimes this AI in this game makes really weird decisions. Get him, Jasu. The Ronsos have really high endurance. It's hard to get the ball away from them. But otherwise, they're not super good. So that's why I was thinking I can win. But I still got to get another, um, another shot to win and hope that he doesn't win. Oh, god damn it, that's gonna go in. It's gonna go in. I knew it. Well, I lost this game. It's not enough time to make that up. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to Blitzball off screen. Even if I continue to play Blitzball during all these other episodes, like, it's just... That's how that's gonna shake out. All right. Go, Titus, go. Go, Titus, go. Get it. Good job. Good job, my boy. All right, let's break. And then we will do a sphere shot. No! She had lower than me! Rude. Rude, rude lady. Bad new Ronso. Hmm. Busy drinking my water. Didn't even notice. There's only one second left, so it seriously doesn't matter. Time's up. Okay, so that did not go super well. Titus is still top player, though. Current level is one, number of wins three. Okay, so our team level is still number one, so that's good. Oh, no, I got to go get... Yes, yes, I want to renew him. Absolutely. Yes. All right, so there's our opening Blitzball game. We'll play some more Blitzball a little bit later in the stream, probably. But let's first go along Meehan High Road a little bit. We actually missed an Albed Primer back when we were in this area. So we're going to go grab that. We're going to also talk to everybody along here. And we've got a couple of other monster catching things to do on Meehan High Road. Do you remember fighting the Chocobo Eater here? How he, he pushes you off the ledge? <laughs> oh gosh, memories. What you got to say? It was time for me to leave the temple and travel the world. Along the way, I hope to spread the teachings to the people I meet. Okay, so I guess you become a missionary. Oh, I missed that lady. Go back, go back. I want to talk to her. All right. We are receiving many refugees from Bavel. 
They have suffered a trying journey here, and it is our duty to protect them from fiends. Oh, well, that's nice of you. It's not the citizens' fault that Bevel went crazy. We actually missed this chest here, too, so I gotta grab that. Heat lance. Okay. We'll probably just sell that. <laughs> and then here's the primer that we missed. Uh, e to I. So there we go. That'll make reading Abed way easier. We live in the desert, so I have never seen this many flowers. There are some Albed wandering around. Wonder what are they up to now? They're just trying to live their lives. God. Relax, dude. There aren't many guards beyond here, so watch it. The warrior monks and the guado guarding this area and the have left, huh? Oh, they've left. Okay. Maybe they went after the traitors. They can try, but they won't catch me. And then we gotta go down here. We already grabbed all the chests down here before, but there's another Oren Sphere this way. All the way at the end. Back where we found um, the Mars Crest. When we came here before. Mm -mm. Alright, let's watch. Like father, like son. I guess you're right. Well then, ha! there it is. Aaron, let's get him. Right. <laughs> Oren says, "Sure, <laughs> whatever you say." All right. So let's get back towards a safe. Yeah, this is fine. We'll just be by this safe point. So, I also want to customize, let's see, I want to customize Kamari's weapon, so we should have enough stuff to do that now, so I want to give him Ice Strike. Yes, okay. Now, we've got a couple more fiends in this area that we need, um, we need two more Meehan Fangs and two White Elementals. So we're going to run along here and try to get those. Neither of those are what I need. <laughs> uh, here we go. Let's just mug him. And then we can run away. Next time. And those two, two more of each of those fiends is the last thing that we need in this area. So rude, hitting me. There's nothing that you can do to me now. I am way too powerful for you. Live and let live. I wonder if these two fiends in particular are just not on the lower part, and I should not have hopped off. <laughs> the chocobo! Oh, I didn't really think about that. But seeing what packs are here, I'm thinking maybe that is the case. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. We'll get out of this area and we'll run around a little on the top area and get those last fiends. All these rude preemptive strikes. What's wrong with them? I'm just running along minding my own business. Not bothering anybody. I don't even want to fight these guys. They just come for me. They just come for me.
They're playing with the cat ears again. I might have to go take them off the wall again. I really wanted them up. It's been so long since I've streamed. I wanted it all to look perfect, but if they're going to destroy them, we can't have that. destructive little bitches <laughs> they're so cute but i can't wait until they're a little bit less um terrorizing everything you know what i mean <laughs> well these aren't the packs i need either we need the little wolfies and the ice elemental thingies white elements Niku keeps going first. I might just take her out of the party so we can have Titus go first and just flee right every back. time until we get what we're actually looking for. All right, let's do that. Okay, go ahead, Orin. Now we won't have to worry about that. Come on, Mihen Fang and White Element. I'm looking for you. Don't need bombs. Already caught a bunch of those last stream. Well, several streams ago, actually. I think I started catching bombs. I can't remember. It's been so long. It's been so long since I've streamed for you guys. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy how much, like, you have your routine, right? And I needed a vacation. Like, it was wonderful to have a... There's a white element. It was wonderful to have a vacation from work. Like, don't get me wrong. But I did definitely miss you guys. And miss streaming. There's something really like special and magical about streaming. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to like explain what that thing is, but I missed it. All right, one more white element, and then two more Mihen fangs. Yeah, I should have totally ridden the chocobo all the way back here. I didn't realize, like, none would pop up in those lower areas, but I guess they're, those are fiends that are more towards these beginning areas of this part. No I won't go so easy on you next time. Can y'all see them messing with those lights back there? S lights are still their favorite snack. Their second favorite snack is cords. So, you know, a cord of lights, that's, like, irresistible to them. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I had some toys that I was using to play with them so they wouldn't play with those lights and stuff too much. But um, they took them out into the dining room and so I do not have the toys anymore to throw for them. <sighs> and you just keep, keep like a basket of toys. Here we go. There's a uh, Nihan Fang and a white element. Okay, so we just need one more Nihan Fang. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. One more of those little wolfies and we'll be done with this area. Come here, little wolfie. There you are. Oh, she missed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Got it. Good job, everybody. All right, now we are going to find a save point. And since we finished this area, let's do another round of Blitzball. Let's see if the attack reels is up on the, um, not the league, but the tournament. 
Yep. Okay. Let's try to do a tournament. I keep losing these, but let's see what we can do. So it's going to be me against the Killika Beasts. All right. This is a team that I've beaten before in League, so hopefully I can do it. We're going to concentrate and do a good job. Yeah, I know we don't need any techs. Yeah, that's good. All right. I'm going to give it my all. Get it, guys. Get that ball. Get that ball. <gasps> oh, he missed. Swimming in circles. <laughs> the AI is so weird sometimes. Yeah, we'll break. Come on, Titus, let's go. Let's start this out right. No! That's not starting it out right, Titus. Come on now. You can do better than that. Having his endurance really screwed him up. Let's see. This pass is so bad. I guess we will sphere shot. This is probably not going to work. There's too many defenders. They're just going to, like, chip it down. Yeah, I knew that. <sighs> I'm going to have to have Waka get some shots. Instead of Titus. This half. Lunar, hey! Girl, how's it going? I missed you so much. I've been gone for forever. <laughs> Which means I have not seen you. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Man, because his endurance is half. Okay. What's new? What's new? Oh, nothing now. I mean, really, I just, I went on a cruise. It was awesome. It was really nice to have a real vacation. Um, so that felt really good. Had my birthday. But like, really, otherwise, you know, I mean, my life is boring and I like it that way. So nothing too new here. What's new with you? Anything cool or fun happen? <gasps> oh, thank you so much for the biddies, Lunar. I really appreciate that. Beating heart. <laughs> yeah, nothing for you two. That's good, though. That's good. I hope all this, uh, this craziness with the Delta variant isn't keeping you too crazy busy at work. Hopefully it's still been kind of okay for you there. All right.
right. And let's... Uh, rebranded my channel and stuff. Oh, you rebranded. I'll have to go check it out after the stream and see what it looks like. Are you still doing, like, Wolves and Taylor Swift and stuff, though? Or is that, like, the rebrand? It's not Wolves anymore. And it's halftime. Nobody scored. All right. Whew. I just have to score this time. <laughs> My god. I am a hot mess when it comes to freaking Blitzball. Yes, let's proceed. Oh. No, the techs are all good. That's fine. All this... Oh. Let's see. Anti-Venom. There we go. That's that's good. That's good. Um, My Discord channel is different with... FNAF security branch coming out in de December. Um, I'm doing more indie horror games. Oh, oh, that's so cool. I love watching horror games on stream, as I know I think I've told you before. Um, I can't play horror games. <laughs> I'm a freaking wuss, but I love watching other people play horror games because it is more like a horror movie and I can handle that and it's all good and I'm happy, you know? <laughs> uh, so that is so cool. I'm so glad for you. Because I know you love um, FNAF and some of those types of games. So I think that should be really neat for your channel. Alright. Let's break. And then let's check shot. Good job, Titus. Good job. My Discord's called Luna's Pizzeria. Yes, I spelled it like that. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love it. Yes, got a point. Okay, y'all, maybe I can actually win a tournament game. Wouldn't that be amazing? <clears throat> that's really cool, Lunar. I'm excited for you. I think a lot of people like watching horror games. That's why that, that one stream last Halloween, I thought I was going to stream a horror game, and then, like, that didn't work out. <laughs> um, but I wish, I, I have, like, this this wish where I'm like, oh, I wish I could do that, because I know people love watching that stuff, but I just can't. My soul can't handle it. Yeah, I don't know why you tried to shoot, dude. You do not have enough shot. Ooh, waka waka. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's just destroy them. Let's just totally destroy them. Good job. So hopefully some of the harder teams get knocked out in the first round. And this tournament is actually when I can win, so I can get the attack reels, because then I'll feel like I progress. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, good job, Nada. Good job. Go, Titus. Go, Titus. No! Dame, wrong! I'm excited. Yeah! Yes, that's very exciting. How do you like my new hat? It's a unicorn! It's just like the bunny hat. That was a birthday gift that I got while we were on the cruise. By the way, if anybody wants to see pictures of my vacation, if y'all like that kind of stuff, um, you can follow my Instagram. It is It's Karen Terry is my Instagram. I don't really super advertise it because it really doesn't have much to do with the, the channel and I'm like super spotty with updating it. But um, if you're interested in that sort of thing, that's what's on there. 
right now. A lot of vacation pictures. You can also see lots of kitten pictures from before that. Thank you, Lunar. I was very excited to get it. Oh, go Rin, go Rin. Yeah, my parents and my husband um, did a really, really cool thing for me on the cruise for my birthday, right? Because it was... We don't normally take a va take this type of vacation on my birthday because it's like July and it's hot as hell. You know, and this was hot. I don't think I'll cruise in July again. <laughs> but um, what they did is they got me this hat and I had a shirt, a sparkly shirt that said birthday girl on, on the shirt. And they all had shirts that said birthday squad on them. And they had like this dabbing unicorn with sunglasses looking like he was having so much fun. And it was like the coolest thing. So on my birthday, we walked around with the, the birthday squad shirts and I had the birthday girl shirt and I got so many compliments and uh, and happy birthday wishes and it was really, really fun. And then everybody got to say also, oh, how old are you? Or something, or that sometimes they would be more polite and they would say, I know it's rude to ask, but how old are you turning? And I would be like, guess. And y'all, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know if this is real. It's not real. They were joking. Oh, yes, another goal. Um, everybody was so polite. They said 22. And I said, you are right. I am turning 22. Thank you. <laughs> uh, not a single person said anything close to what was right. So <laughs> that was great. Um, everybody basically said somewhere between 22 and 25. So it's like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Good job, everybody. That's the right answer. It was super, super fun. It made the, made the birthday really fun. And we did that also on the first day so we got a picture like an official you know carnival picture that they take with their photographers that had like the birthday squad shirts and everything so you can see that on my instagram if you're interested we all we all look very cute in the picture <laughs> all right so who are we going who are we going against next okay Let's try let's try to do the tournament. Let's try to keep doing this tournament. Alright, so next we gotta do Guado Glories. Hopefully I can beat the Guados. They're not one of the super hard teams, so I have I have hope. <laughs> I have hope. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Uh, grip glove, sure, whatever, in. All right, done. Yes. <clears throat> so many times on stream I failed the very first tournament Blitzball game, so I'm, like, really shocked that I won that. Um... So far, I feel like it's been cursed when I do it on stream. So let's see. Let's see what we can do, y'all. If we can get past this game, if we can win this game, that's better than I've done any other stream so far. Even though I have, to, I need to win the whole tournament to get the attack reels. But, you know, let's keep our expectations tempered. <laughs> let's keep our expectations tempered. Well, I scored a goal in the very beginning. That's a good sign. Okay, Karen, don't lose it. Don't lose it, girl. Don't lose it. Just keep doing this over and over. Get him, Waka. Get him. Mm-mm. It's not how you do it, Waka. But his attack is not very good, so I'm not surprised. He's not really a tackler. He's more of a hold the ball and shoot over and over <laughs> kind of character. Alright, get him, Jasu. Good job. Good job, Jasu. Alright, give it to Waka. Let's let Waka shoot. 
All right, man. Okay. Clear shot. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Venom shot. Well, at least he poisoned him, I guess. I would have preferred getting a goal, but... Good job, Rin. Good job, good job. Really good job, Nida, for knocking so much off of that. Whoop whoop. That is what we like to see. That is what we like to see, Rin, my friend. Merchant extraordinaire and decent blitzball player. I can't believe they took Bada though. Look at that, the Guado Glories have Bada. So weird. Remember when you used to be on my team, Bada? And now look at you. Playing for one of the enemies. I'm sorry we kicked you from the team, but you weren't any good. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> I'm feeling it, y'all. I'm feeling it this time. I'm feeling it good. Good job, Nada. Now we're just gonna have to pass. And they got the player that's wearing one of those weird, like, butt flap skirts. <laughs> That character design looks so weird playing Blitzball. Like, as if the Besaid Orox pants weren't weird enough with the wideness. And she has like a whole skirt that's just a butt flap. So strange. Okay. Get it, Titus. Get it, Titus. You can do it. It's halftime. Alright, it's halftime and I'm up too. I can do it. I can do it. All the same positions. Yes, yes. That's all good. Ooh, Waka has a new slot. What can I put in there? He has Wither Pass. Okay, well I guess Wither Pass it is then. Does Jasu still have no techs? Yeah, he still has no techs. Okay. Oh, what else can we give Yuma? Tackle slip evades tackles. Well, she's not going to get tackled. I guess we can give her anti venom. That's a good one for her. As the goalie. All right. Let's do Wither Shot. Let's do, I guess, Anti Venom. Oh, there's nothing for you. That's okay. Is there anything for you? Okay, sure. Drain Tackle too, even though you're never going to tackle anybody, but that's fine. All right, second half. Don't let them score, and then I'm good to go. So, Yuma, it's on you. I believe in you. Especially now that you have the anti-poison as well.
Ah, oh, bad timing. I didn't get that one. Rude, catching that. Our ring should have broken too. Oh, it's okay. Jossie's caught it. Okay. Come on, Titus. Definitely break. And then we'll do a spear shot. And that should go in. Yep, it's gonna go in. And I don't think there's any way they can get three goals on me before the end, so. That's awesome. So we've got one more round after this against a probably actually difficult team. Um, so I need all of your pro gamer energy. <laughs> I need all of your pro gamer energy for that game when we get to it. Because that one's actually going to take some skill. <clears throat> See, she's got the weird butt flap skirt. Like, that must be so hard to swim in. <laughs> thank you, Lunar. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to need it. Desperately. <gasps> oh my god. Uh oh, let's pass to Nada. Dragon! Oh my gosh, you're here. You're here with some. I bet this is gonna be a pun. Okay, here we go. Did you hear about the actor who fell through the trap door? It was just a stage he was going through. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Y'all that aren't in my Discord, you do not know the joys of <laughs> Dragon's regular, nearly daily puns. What? I can't believe they got a goal. Well, there's no way they're going to get two more. Anyway, back to gushing about Dragon's puns. They're hilarious. They're wonderful. Incredibly entertaining. Works of art. Masterpieces. I just love everything about them. And they have a near endless supply of these. It seems like they never run out of good ones. They're always ridiculous and funny. Normally every weekday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every weekday. That's right. I slowed down a bit per some Discord admin requests on other servers. Who told you to slow down puns? You don't need to slow down puns on my server. It's totally fine. But you know, like, the cafe is not, like, super crazy active. So, like, one or two, one or two puns in a day, like, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Maybe in a server that has more chatter, they feel like it's interrupting or something. I don't know. Um, but I don't think I've ever seen you interrupt a conversation with a pun, so. I'm all good with it. I like them. Yeah, you thought you were going to shoot again, but that's just what you thought. I take that ball back. Go walk a go. Go walk a go. It's almost Friday. It is almost Friday. Tomorrow. Feels like this week just kind of flew by. Um, my admin that usually helps us with a ton of different stuff was out this week. Of course, like I was out last week and she had to pick up my slack and she's out this week and I have to pick up her slack. So I have been busy, busy, busy. Um, which means this week is just like boom and it's gone. 
<laughs> flown by. Uh, so I'm kind of like, what? It's almost Friday already? I can't believe it. It feels like it's Tuesday. Which is a good thing. I mean, I want work to go by fast, basically, for the most part, you know. Oh, good. Learning some new text. That's wonderful. Uh, okay. And they re-signed. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'm gonna go against the Luka Goers. <laughs> the best fucking team. Of course I am. Of course I am. Alright. Let's continue. I gotta get those attack reels, so I've gotta hopefully beat them. <sighs> the Evan Cup Finals Championship matches the Oryx and the Goers. Constellation maxes the Glories and the Fangs. I'm gonna go pee real quick so that I'm in tip-top gamer shake to receive your pro gamer energy and win this. Okay, I'm back, and I'm ready to kick some Luca Goer booty. I can do it, I can do it. Psych myself up. <laughs> I think he still has no text, let's just make sure. Yeah, he still doesn't have no text. Poor Jasu. His stats are good though, so it's okay. It's weird they've got super goalie on not their goalie. <laughs> I can get attack reels, I'll be so happy. I'll be so happy. Oh, they're too good. The numbers are just straight up on their side. Yes, good job, Jasu. Too much block, they have too much block. <sighs> oh, <laughs> Lunar, you got first. I guess nobody, nobody did first at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> that was funny. Come on, Titus, catcher, catcher. Oh, God. 
damn it. Should have passed. Not broken. Oh, VIP. Well, Lunar, you're a mod, so I can't make you a VIP and a mod at the same time. But I will I'll refund that and you can be a VIP in my heart. <laughs> Posture check, there we go. Oh no, the sound alert didn't play. I tested them before stream. I don't know why it's not playing. I'm sorry. Motherfucker. I'm gonna lose still. <sighs> now let's see what's going on here. Okay, I refresh the sound alerts. I bet they'll work now. <laughs> A lunar's work is never done. Motherfucker. Yeah, there we go. Now it's working. Ow! Thank you for the biddies with that howl. No, Waka! Come on. Catch it, Yuma. Catch it. How did he get... It was down to eight when it got to her. That's ridiculous. This game is biased. This game is biased and it's cheating. It's cheating against me. I still can't beat the goers. Like, I'm just... I gotta I gotta do more. Blitz ball, I guess. Ugh. I mean, look at them. They're ridiculous. No break. We'll just speak shot. Not gonna. <gasps> I got a goal. Okay. 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 Could be worse. Oh, but they got control now. That's not good. Good job, Titus. Good job. Good 
Good lord. Okay, well... They're getting it back, because there's no way <laughs> I can get it past all these guys. Yeah. <laughs> that was not going to happen. Who are you passing it to? <laughs> oh, and they would recover it instead of letting me recover it. Yeah, of course. Fumbles. Good job, Waka. We're just gonna have to try to shoot. I don't think it's gonna work out. Yeah, I didn't think so. But if I kept swimming, that other guy would have come up on me, and then I would definitely not be able to get a shot. It's almost time. I definitely can't get another one in only. What is this, 40 seconds left? It's not going to happen, which is a bummer. But I got farther than I've gotten in any of the other tournaments so far, so I guess I am improving. I just can't beat the goers, you know. <laughs> yes, that is all the secret commands. And I lose it. Titus is still the scoring leader. I got number two. Please accept this prize. Soft times four. Top score. Rename card. None of this is what I wanted. Yes. Yes, I do, I do. I want to renew all of these guys. Uh, no, I'm not gonna use brother. Okay. Let's go back. Alright, we did not win the attack reels like I wanted to, but we did much better that time. So hopefully we'll continue to do better. Let's get back on the airship, and let's go get the last Orin Sphere. The final showdown... So, the last one we can get is over in the moon flow. Here we go. With all the traders and Albed around, not many travelers pass through here anymore. 
Well, hello there. Are you in luck today? If you buy something now, I'll give you a big discount. Well, what do you say? Well, let's see what she's got. All right, Dark Touch, Death Touch. That can be useful, a Death Touch whip weapon for Lulu. All right, so she's got some cool stuff. Let's go ahead and sell. Mm, yeah. All this extra stuff. I want to keep that. And all this can go away. Now I got lots and lots of monies. Uh, thank you for the lurk, Lunar. Appreciate all my lurkers here in the stream. Lurking is heavily encouraged around here. Thanks for all your money, lady. Mm, let's get it organized now. Sort. Sort. Alright. What you got to say, sir? Welcome, you seem to have fine taste, sir. Listen, buy from me and you won't have any problems down the line. Oh, he's got some stuff too. What's he got? Okay, some fire strike and ice strike stuff, a dark touch. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Let's watch this ject sphere. Sleeping. <laughs> what are you shooting me for? So you don't do anything stupid again. Oh, I can't believe you attacked that shoe puff. <gasps> it's this part. I had to pay the handler for damages from his own travel money. I said I was sorry. It's never gonna happen again. I promise. Ah, a promise. Which you'll forget come tomorrow. He knows he was wrong. That's it. Only thing I drink from now on is shoe puff milk. You're sure? We're on a journey to fight sin and save Spira, right? If I keep screwing up and making a fool of myself, my wife and kid are never gonna forgive me. That's on the record. Hmm. Well. Turns out Titus really didn't forgive you for leaving, so that's what that is about that. Need anything? Oh, she's selling stuff too. Oh, okay. Some just random armors. What are we to do now that the warrior monks are up and gone? 
I'm sure the temple has a plan, but Yevon works in strange ways, it seems. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, what happened to Maester Seymour and Lady Yuna's marriage? <laughs> I heard the Maester disappeared from Bevel and Yuna is now a traitor. Unbelievable. Believe it. Please rest assured, the shoe puff is operating as usual. Hey there, if you don't buy anything from me, you'll regret it. Let's see what you got. Probably nothing I'm gonna buy, but... Okay, got some various armors. Alright, alright, alright. Dangerous when shoe puffs close. Want to be smooshed? No, I don't want to be smooshed. Alright, let's do some monster capturing. Capture some moon flow monsters. We haven't done any in this little area. So let's try to get some. I think I gotta get to the next screen for them to start spawning. I don't think they spawn on this screen. Do y'all remember the annoying ass Ochus in this area from before? We're gonna kill them now in like one or two hits. Oh! Oh look! There's one! <laughs> uh, let's mug him. Oh no, Titus heals. We can't have that. Uh, let's swap you. And let's bring Riku in here. Uh, so it takes a few hits to get him. Not just one or two, looks like. But that's okay. We're still gonna kill him pretty quick. Mm -mm -mm. I forgot to notice what the wolf guy was called here. I think they're called Garms. So I think I got a Garm too. And another Ochu. And those guys are bug bites. Riku's so OP. I love her. Yeah, bite bug. That's right, bite bug. <clears throat> Take, that. Take that indeed. I'm on a roll. Another group of Ochu and two bite bugs. Well, antidotes is what they have. Okay. I think maybe instead of Kimari, I put Orin. Let's get Orin in here. Hua! It's over. <clears throat> they were so annoying back when we were the proper level for them, and now just, like, boom boom dead. As is everything we've fought so far, trying to do this monster capturing. What are these? Gandaria, I think? And Fungwar. No, we've caught enough of them. Yeah, in other areas. Let's get Titus back in here. Yeah, we don't need those. So we caught enough of those on um, the other, like, Jose area. Mushroom Rock Road. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Alright, so that's a Garm. And what's this? Snow Flan. And this is a Bunyip. 
Alright, there's another one of these groups. I'm just marking off over here on the side how much I've got of each thing. So I know to only capture 10. I mean, the game will tell me, but that way I can be done quicker. I think I'm, I probably should go back and keep getting Ochu. Oh no, there is still Ochu's around here. Okay. All right, so there's another Garm. And another Ochu. Because I think the Ochus are going to be the rarer spawn here. Although I need to get Basilisks too. Maybe the Basilisks are on the other side of the moon flow. What's up? What's up, lady? Lady says hi. Hey guys, what's up? To come to sit in my lap. While we do the monster capture. Do you remember our Belgamine fight back here? Fun times, fun times. Okay, so that's a Garm, and a Snowflan, and a Bunyip. Yeah! That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Yeah, I haven't seen any. There's two other ones in this area that I know I'm supposed to get. Um, Basilisks and another one called Smurg. Haven't seen those yet. So I wonder if they're like on the other side or something. Alright, so there's another Garm. Another Snowflan. Another Bunyip. Let's see. Maybe they're along here. Because this area, I'm pretty sure in the Monster Arena, I think don't think it's just Moonflow. I think it's called like Jose High Road and Moonflow or something like that. You guys are toast. Alright, there's another Garm. And that's a Bunyip. And, oh, yeah. There's the bird I'm supposed to get. Okay. So I do need to run along here a little bit to get those birds and basilisks. I do seem to remember that now that I'm thinking about it, that you have to come here, yep, to get those basilisks. That's the only way you're going to get them. Farewell. No time to waste. Let's go. Those basilisks were annoying when we were the regular level for them too. Stoning you over and over. Annoying ass things. Get some stone! Oh <laughs> Hi, bye. <laughs> uh, I think I just got sneak attacked, y'all. <laughs> oh, it's okay, lady. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and then I'm just marking these guys off. Alright. Hang on, he accidentally closed the door so the cats can't get back out. I know. There you go, guys. I know. Nobody, no animals in this house like a closed door. Oh, two bas basilisks. That's good. Oh, 
And I don't want to go too far back. I don't want to accidentally trigger um, the Dark Maga sisters. Because <laughs> they will attack you if you run in the wrong place on this little high road area. And y'all saw how I did against Dark Valifor. How it kills me instantly. So you know those guys definitely would. Alright. So that's one of the birds. And two of the bugs. Titus, we've been new, okay? We've been new. Alright, so we've got a Garm, a Snowflan, and a Bunyip. Farewell. That's how it's done. It's definitely going to get to the point where I've caught everything in this area and just got to find basilisks. Just like there always is in these little monster capturing things. Don't you stone me. Oh, rude. All right, come on, Yuna. I know I don't need heals much right now, but right now, I need some Esuna. Because at this moment, I actually don't want to be stoned. Oh, good job. Overdrive mode for Yuna. Oh, two basilisks. Yay, that's what I like to see. Have her whack him, why not? Woohoo! Oh, I need that snow flan. I guess I'll get him at least. I got so much money. I have to figure out what to spend that on. Oh, yeah. See, ya. See ya. Welcome back, Lunar. A lunar. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you missed something actually really funny. I'll have to clip it after the stream. My husband came in here and shouted, KISS ATTACK! And totally surprised me, I had no idea who was behind me. <laughs> it was pretty amusing. Um, but I think everybody was lurking at that moment, so... Uh, we'll just have to get it, get it later. All right, three more basilisks. Yeah! And then we'll go back to where the Ochus are and try to get some more Ochus. Oh. So, we've got Snowflan. Uh, Bunyip, and that should be our last Garm, I think.
See ya. We still gotta get some of those Smurg bird ones, though. Haven't seen a lot of those. They're probably farther that way on this little path. Oh! <laughs> I pushed the stick the wrong way. That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> Oops. Alright, that should be all my basilisks that I need. Boom! Ooh, yeah, yep. Alright, that's all my basilisks. We still gotta get more of those Simurg bug guys, or bird guys. Maybe if I run around in this light area here. This is where they popped up when I was just first entering this area. All right. So that's another bunny up and snow flan. I do still need more of those. Farewell. Farewell. Like it was like right here, pretty much. That those birds popped up. I'll be right back. <laughs> we will not be back. Don't listen to him. <laughs> oh, there's one. And that should be the last bunny if I need. Yeah, so I guess they're right around here. I do need another snow flan. So we only need one more snow flan now. Enough. That's how it's done. Say your prayers. Live and let live. <laughs> That's the prayer. Live and let live. <laughs> That should be my last snow flan that I need right there. Farewell. No time to waste. Let's go. No time to waste. Oh, there's some? No I need both of those. Alright, there's another Simurg. And two more bite bugs. And 
Yeah, well, Oren still can't hit those guys. <laughs> Even though they're so low level, his accuracy is just not good enough. You like that? I don't think they like that, Titus. I mean, I wouldn't like it if I was them. There we go, some more smurgs are popping up now. I'm just too far down the road. But I get nervous. I don't want to go, like, <laughs> I don't want to go too far the other way down the road because I don't want the Maga sister, Dark Maga sisters, to attack me. All right, so right now we need four more of those bird things, the Smurgs. We need one more bite bug. And we need six more Ochus back in the Moonflow area. I won't go so easy on you next time. Next time. So let's run back this way. I wonder if they spawn more on the light bits. That's why I'm checking those. Running around a little on there and see if that does anything. I don't need any of you. I'll be right back. Let's do this. We're on the PC version. We're going to use the PC features to increase how often we get encounters. There we go. Enemy encounters frequent. See if we can make them pop up a bit faster. I'll be right back. Come here, birdie, birdie, birdie. Come here, birdie, birdie, birdie. I'll be right back. Smurg. I think that's how you say it. I won't go so easy on you next time. <laughs> oh, Titus, you cracked me up. Gosh, it's just this group over and over. I do not need to this group anymore, game. You notice how there's not really random battles in games anymore? This right here that we're experiencing is one of the flaws of random battles, I feel like. Trying to get the particular spawn that you're looking for. <laughs> and you just have to kind of run around and wait and run around and wait and run around and wait. I won't go so easy on you next time. So now it's just like the battle music on loop. Trying to get this bird to come up. While we get everything else under the sun. I won't go so easy on you next time. I thought the boss lists were gonna be the hard spawn to get to come up, but it seems like apparently it's these birds. I might have to try a different strategy. I have to go from the other direction and see how that works. Oh, not special. We want white magic. Come on. Get Titus to sober up. Yeah, it's not working. Uh, I'll have to try going have to try going from the other direction and see how that works. Live and let live. Yeah, it's still just it's not right. Alright, let's try to go get some Ochus before the end of the stream. 
turn the encounters back to normal. I want to run back to Ochu land. Oh, I forgot. Titus can't fight Ochus. <laughs> I have to swap him out. All right, let's try to get those five Ochus before the end of the stream, at least. Oh, yeah. Farewell. Thanks, Oren. I like your big hits and your big attack. Make quick work of those Ochus. All right, three or four more, I think, Ochus. And we'll get all those. Ah, oh, almost killed it. I believe in you, Orin. There we go. Mm, I don't need any of these. That won't go so easy on you next time. We still do need one more bite bug. So hopefully one of those pops up too. Ah, there we go. There's our bite bug that we want. Aw, oh, rude. Kamari should have enough accuracy. That's not right. Alright, so now we just need Ochus and those Bergs, the Smeerugs, from this area. Imagine a Final Fantasy remake where it was like the monsters were just like chilling there for you. That would be really cool. Ah, oh, dang it. I should not have attacked with Titus. Why did I do that? Bring Waka back in. There we go. I think I need one more Ochu, but I feel like I lost count at some point, so it might be two more. So we'll do one more, and then one more extra for good measure. Just to make sure. Woo-ha! Okay, let's find one more Ochu, just to make sure that we've got enough. Then we'll go to another little spot where we'll try to find some more of those Smeerig birds. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, so I didn't need that one, but that's fine. Wanted to make sure. Okay, let's find a save sphere, and let's go to the other end of that Jose High Road. See if we can't do something about catching those birdies. Because we only need four of them, and then we'll have that whole area. Jose High Road complete, and we completed the Meehan High Road earlier in the stream today, so that's two more areas complete, so that's great. If we can go do that, if my theory is right, that they're more towards the beginning, we can just run around a little in the beginning and just be very, very careful <laughs> to not run too far and, uh, and hit the Magus sisters. All right, I want to save also. <laughs> I will try, oh my God. <laughs> they are ones that can definitely pop out at you um, without you uh, meaning for them to. <laughs> okay, I think I would go here, Jose High Road. Let's see if this is the right one. Where does this take me? Oh, this takes me to this end of it. Eh, I see, I see. Okay, well, let's do this. Maybe there will be some birds here. I don't think so. I won't go so easy on you next time. No, there won't be. There won't be. Yeah, this is too far back in this area. I would have seen them because I came along here and killed things and I never encountered any of those guys. So yeah, they're not back here. Yeah, it's these thunderflans and bombs and stuff. Live and let live. Okay, well here's what we're going to do. Let's go back to that save point. We can go back to the save point, and we can at least go to the calm lands and unlock, show all the monsters that are unlocked in there, and that might be enough to get our next prize from there. I think we might have enough at this point. Not 100% sure, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out together. Live and let live. So we've caught most of those smirigs that we need. Just not all quite yet. The final showdown. Yeah, calm lands. Here we go. Yeeha. I love the music here. It's beautiful. Alrighty, let's see what all we have unlocked. I've been researching specimens from Meehan High Road and created one nasty beast. No. We're not going to fight them right now. I'm just unlocking them. Yes, I know. It's not for free. Good job gathering. Them hard shell buggers keep smashing their shells for me. I've been researching specimens from Thunder Plains. Chocobo wing. Oh, that's nice. Not now. Kilika Island. Poison fangs. Oh, nice, nice. Not now, not now. Yes, I understand. 
We need money to survive. Jose Road. Not now. I hear ya. Mushroom Rock Road. Candle of Light. Ooh, those are nice. Besaid. Not now. Calm lands. I've done it. I've created a monster. This is a fabulous day. Come on, kiddo, help me celebrate. Three stars. Want to take a swing at it? No, I do not. So those ones we got before were called area conquests. It's for catching one of everything in the area. And based on other things that you do with your catching, you can get, he'll like make brand new monsters. So that's what I'm unlocking now. Some of his creations. And they're based on like unlocking multiple areas or things like that. So there's like one that's like, once you clear three areas, you get a monster. And once you clear so many species... Okay, so that's all. Um, doesn't seem like I unlocked enough. Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ha, ah, I am one shy. <laughs> I'm one shy from getting the prize. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. We'll get it next time then. Alright, let's board the airship. Oh wait, cancel. Let's do this. So going from the Jose High Road thing didn't get us to where the spot that I want us to be. So instead, we're in a Meehan High Road. I'm just gonna run us down there. And see if this works out before we end the stream. Oh, I ran right past her. There we go. Yes, let's ride one. So I'm thinking if I go from this direction and just don't go very far into the Jose High Road, I'll find more of those birds. And I just run around at the very beginning of it. I won't get attacked and I'll find the birds that I'm looking for. Okay, I'm gonna save before I do anything else. <laughs> Just in case. I think if I stay at the very beginning, I will not have a problem. So the way that this works is if you go too far down this road, like past that lady and the kid, then um, the Dark Maga sisters will come attack you. So I don't want to do that. <laughs> So I'm just going to do a couple of encounters and see what happens, and that will tell me where I need to be. If I was in a better spot before, or if this is a better spot to find those birds. I'll be right back. Okay, I think where I was before was the better spot, even though they weren't spawning very much. I don't think this is a good spot. All right. So next stream, I will actually get back to that spot before the stream starts. And we will get those last couple of birds before we progress and do some other things. So let's save. Okay. Let's find someone to rage y'all. All right. Let's close this. Close the game. Let's pull up Twitch. Who's live? Who's live? 
Are any of my friends live right now? Ooh, yes, some of my friends are. Some of my friends are totally live right now. All right, let's make sure, let's see, Venom is live. Let's make sure he's not on a break or something. Okay, it's running an ad. So we're gonna wait for the ad to play out. <clears throat> Just to make sure he's not on break. Cause that's always the worst, right? When you raid into someone and it's like, oh, they're on a break right now. Okay, he's not. Okay, he's not. And he's playing um, Star Wars, The Old Republic. So that looks fun, right? Okay, let's raid into Venom. All right, there we go. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on my welcome back stream. I am going to be streaming on Saturday. It's going to be an interstage window episode, and we're going to talk about villain romances. So if you love villain romances, please join us for a arousing discussion. And next week on Artistic License, it's going to be more Final Fantasy, more Final Fantasy X. We're going to do the butterfly mini game, which I'm very bad at. So please join me uh, to watch me fail over and over. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Uh, and don't forget to make it a great day.